What the hell is happening, everybody? Look at this place. So this is my destination for today. I actually want to go way up there, but I don't think I'm going to have the time because that sun is going down over the mountain. So this is Clarkston Cemetery. Why am I bringing you here? Well, I'll tell you. Now, as my name on YouTube suggests, I am a heathen. But that doesn't mean I have disregard for other people's faiths or history, for that matter. And one thing that I really like to learn about is the history of other religions. I apologize for any wind noise. I'm going slow enough, I just need my lid open. But this cemetery in particular has a bit of importance. And I came up here once just kind of randomly. And now the the billboard that I was going to read to you guys is currently covered up for the winter. So instead, I'm just going to bring it here. As you can see, weird that a cemetery has all this stuff, right? Well, time for a history lesson. Martin Harris. Martin Harris is a pretty important person. And I'm going to read over this real quick. Just so you guys can get some history. This is pretty cool. Okay, so this is literally out in the middle of nowhere, Utah. Like, farmland all around us, okay? Just imagine how cool it must have been to come out here way back in the settler times, right? When Utah first became populated. When Mormons first settled out here. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. I would love to live in a spot like this. Now, nowadays, technology and stuff like that makes it a little different because, well, <laughs> you know, internet, <laughs> YouTube, things like that, gasoline. I don't know where the nearest gas station is, but I need to find it. I'm just going to say that because I'm a little ways out here. But, but, on to the history lesson. So, this is a historic site, as you can see. So, bear with me, okay? This gravesite was listed in the National Register of Historic Places on November 28, 1980, as the only remaining site in Utah associated with Martin Harris, one of the three witnesses to the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. A committed supporter of Joseph Smith, Jr., the Mormon prophet, Martin Harris, mortgaged his farm to secure $3,000 for the printing of the first edition of the Book of Mormon. He followed Joseph Smith and the Saints of Kirtland, Ohio, but disaffected and remained there when Joseph and other members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that would be LDS, moved on to Missouri, and then later to Illinois. During the intervening years, he never denied his witness of the Book of Mormon, and, in fact, in his later years, bore his testimony to all who would listen. In 1870, at the age of 87, he traveled to Utah, somebody etched under this, alone, and in, and under this, poor health, and was rebaptized. He lived with his eldest son, Martin Harris Jr., in Clarkston until his death in July 10th of 1875. The present monument, the third to mark Martin Harris' gravesite, was placed on July 10th, 1925. I wish I could actually go over there and read that, because it gives you a lot more information. But it talks about how he was one of the... Oh, I'm going to mess this up, so forgive me. Uh, the 12 apostles, the original 12. But he had a very crucial role to play. As you can tell, the, the first Book of Mormon was printed because he mortgaged his farm. That's a pretty, pretty intense belief in your faith. So I would love, as part of my attempt to bring you guys everywhere that I go. Sorry for the head shaking. But I would love for stuff like this to be something that I can bring and show you guys and share because Utah has a lot of history to it and it's really quite incredible. It really is. Plus a lot of beautiful, amazing places like this to see. Mad respect to you, Mr. Martin Harris, one of the three witnesses to the divine authenticity of the Book of Mormon. Huh. I should read more into that. Because I don't know about the, the define authenticity. Is that where he like saw the golden plates and all that stuff? I don't know. I, read, I, write, I might read a lot and take a lot of it in. But that doesn't mean it necessarily sticks or gets retained. Some stuff does. This is actually one of the first areas out that way that I started taking helmet selfies. On that lovely note, I am going to hop back on Solar Hawk here. And... Yeah, continue onwards with my ride home so that I don't get caught in that storm, which is now consuming all the mountains down there. Or this rain cloud here, hopefully, isn't too bad. Anyways, babbling on. So, uh, 
thank you guys for tuning in today. And I'm going to catch you guys all next time. A little something different, I know. But I thought it was pretty cool to bring you guys for this. So if you made it this far, thanks so much. I appreciate it, you guys. History is a pretty cool thing. It's great to know. For better or for worse. <laughs> all right. On that note, I am oh, sore. And I am the hell up out this bitch. Y'all take it easy. Peace. I want to know.